welcome once again to my channel friends in this short video i am going to run you through the heartbeat of scrum as we say the sprint and i am going to also talk about the various stakeholders who play a very crucial role in a sprint so here is my scrum team comprising of my product owner scrum master and developers as we all know product owner is someone who represents the voice of the customer and someone who is responsible for ordering the product backlog scrum master we all know is a servant leader who facilitates the conversation within the team someone who is a coach to the team and someone who is there to remove the impediments which come in the way and my developers are people who are going to work on building and validating the product now what you see on the screen is a sprint calendar consisting of a 10 day sprint for my product so my sprint starts on a wednesday so it is starting on a midweek and it is ending on a tuesday of the third week from a calendar perspective so uh, in first week i have 3 days of the sprint wednesday thursday friday in the second week my sprint comprises of 5 days monday to friday and the third week i have 2 days of that week which i'll be using for the current sprint and again next day morning wednesday my new sprint is going to start so this is how the calendar has been constructed here the first event which happens in my sprint is a sprint planning meeting and in the sprint planning meeting the entire scrum team assembles together the product owner would have ordered the backlog the product owner would have also ensured that stories which are planned for the upcoming uh, sprint they are made in a ready state or they have what is called as a definition of ready statement validated for them the scrum team would first determine the capacity available to them and based on the capacity available they will start picking one by one a story from the product backlog so they pick up one story uh, they break it into task estimate those tasks in hours and map it with the capacity available so this exercise continues till the time the capacity is exhausted or they have made sure that the entire capacity is taken into account for the current sprint so what we get is a list of stories which the team will be picking up for the current sprint and that comes under my sprint backlog so my sprint backlog is a subset of my product backlog one very important thing to remember here is that sprint planning does not end here in fact your sprint planning ends after the team has identified the sprint backlog and they have come out with a sprint goal sprint goal is a one or two line statement which describes the intent of the sprint or what is it that we are trying to aspire to achieve for all right the team starts the work and uh, daily the team meets for a event which as we all know is a daily scrum event something very peculiar about daily scrum event is that it is time box to 15 minutes um, if you want to know more about daily scrum i have a video a separate video shot on the same uh, you can refer to the link in the description box below towards the end of the sprint when my stories are getting ready i also need to make sure that i need to make preparation for my sprint review so sprint review is a event where the stories which are completed they are demonstrated or showcased to the product owner and once the sprint review happens there are three possibilities which could happen either the story is accepted because it is meeting the definition of done and it is meeting the requirement of the product owner or it is rejected because either it fails the dod criteria or it fails during the actual demo and the third interesting thing that the story is accepted by the product owner but there are some additional features recommended by the product owner in those cases these additional features will be again put into the product backlog and prioritized by the product owner the sprint ends with a retrospective So what is a retrospective a retrospective is a event where the team assembles together and they try to determine what were the good things which happened in the current sprint 
what were the key learnings which were the things which did not go the way we had thought so and any areas of improvement which we can take up as an action item so those action items again will be a part of my backlog which the team would like to take in subsequent sprint so we have seen the five events in our scrum five events uh, well i talked about sprint planning i talked about daily scrum i talked about sprint review and i talked about a sprint retrospective so which is the fifth event i think many of us would be wondering and it is not the five number what you see on this picture okay that is just for a representation purpose i have given a number five to backlog refinement and i'll talk about backlog refinement in a moment the fifth event is nothing but the title of this video sprint sprint is regarded now as one of the event which is a kind of a envelope or a container for all these four events namely the sprint planning a daily scrum a sprint review and a sprint retrospective so th th that constitutes the five events of scrum now what is backlog refinement as i said backlog refinement is not a event in a scrum it is an activity which calls for the product backlog refinement or pruning as we say so it's a activity where we look at the product backlog items and we try to understand it more um and we try to get a hold of that item so any item which is going to come up in a future sprint the team along with the product owner they will come together and they will conduct this activity or an exercise called as a backlog refinement ex exercise it is generally recommended that a minimum of 10% of the scrum team's capacity should be kept aside for your backlog refinement process i hope you found this video informative and interesting do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos this is your coach ashutosh bhatodekar signing off for the moment thank you and have a great day ahead